Okay guys, hello and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. And we're in the dark water plot. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Alright. So we're going to have to deal with her. the girl we're looking for. We gotta deal with her cat. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. How can I be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's yeah. true. We're as drunk as lords. You bet. You could have gone by without us seeing you. Do not rile me. You can hardly stand up. He's right. We're no match. For the moment. We're annoyed. It's understandable. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Okay. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. That statue represents... Why do you... You would... Okay. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. You get... Okay, so... Can't talk to him. Why did you tell me? No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you now. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less.
What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyhole. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. What's with you, Juan? We saw go down. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Where do you think you're going? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No. He's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an old man.
Must be another way inside this warehouse. Huh. How to get into the warehouse? I tried lying to the guy. Oh yeah. He's gonna get us into the blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. <laughs> something real bad. Back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Oh, he's out there. I don't know where. He's he's out there. Okay, so really, I can like hit him with the shovel. There's no other way to get across. Sorry, I'm looking. thing I could think of is that we have literally have to jump. That's not open. Alright, well, let's see what's inside the bars, maybe. I, uh... So this guy, we already talked to him. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. To treat what? Another break? Hey, Mitchell! A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. Something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so... openly. But it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? I'm very serious. The whole family died in a fire. And I've got reason to believe that there's still more to be said on the subject. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me, and I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? I guess. Do I have a choice? Oh. We always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. So, Kat is gonna let us through, but we do have to do something for her later. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? 
The oh, cops yeah. drink like everyone else, He's sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. He moved. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Well, this game seems like it's gonna get real, real fast. Be a gentleman and move that for me. <sighs> That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. I'm about to beat this girl. Oh, this place stinks. What is oh. the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? What happened here? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Like she punched it. Hold on. Just... What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? One. case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you?
you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Oh! They'll widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. What? Oh, that's just crazy. It was like, you see that? That's the Hawkins mansion. I was like, huh? Someone's watching us. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. You're talking about Winchester. That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Yeah, might as well. 
and get a cop with us. Cause I saw something. Dude, this game looks so creepy. Hulu probably is going to look sick at the end. Charles Hawkins Grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Charles Hawkins' grave. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Poor kid. find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know how we do it, rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Give me that. Control yourself, old man. You've got guts, you little bastard. You and I have got some talking to do. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way.
No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Alright, so we're gonna pause right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.